Hello, everyone, and welcome to my Emmerdale News YouTube channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribers button and give this video a thumbs up. Rose Jackson, the cuckoo in Emmerdale's home farm's nest, has been increasingly useful lately. However, Rose is forced to resort to some extreme means as she and Ruby Fox Milligan carry out their plot of retaliation against Kim Tate, and Will has had enough. Rose is a fascinating character because, although the specifics of the plan are still unclear, she has actually begun to bond with her daughter Dawn and her grandkids, which is making it challenging for her to carry it out. Rose has already attempted to back out of their arrangement, but Ruby has made it very apparent that she won't allow Rose to do so. Ruby helped Rose pay off some obligations, but now Rose owes Rudy a huge amount of money. Ruby wants the idea to go in future episodes, which makes Rose anxious. Will comes dangerously close to catching Rose while the two women chat. She swiftly pulls away, then throws Will completely when she goes in for a kiss. Rose can only hope that he will choose not to speak to Kim, who is already on the warpath, and will stop at nothing to force her competitor to leave home farm as he rapidly backs off. Unfortunately for Rose, Will tells her what happened since he's realized by now that keeping secrets from Kim isn't a smart idea. To make matters worse for Rose, he informs his spouse that Rose needs to leave Emmerdale immediately so she can stop causing problems. She thus does something that will undoubtedly divert Kim's attention. She releases one of Kim's priceless horses. Kim will undoubtedly be aware of Rose's activities even if she is preoccupied with rounding up her horse. We know from past encounters that Kim Tate is not above using extreme brutality to get rid of an annoyance. Is Rose's stay at home farm coming to an end? Is there anything more that she is planning? Rose Jackson from Emmerdale may meet a fatal end if Kim Tate exacts the brutal retribution that her supporters have long demanded. Fans believe Kim, who was once one of the main antagonists in soap operas before she softened, may at last embrace her darker side. She is still unaware that Rose Jackson and Ruby Milligan are working together to undermine her but it appears that she will learn part of the truth in next scenes. Kim is aware that Rose is purposefully upsetting her in an effort to win over Rose's family and force Kim away. Kim, however, is unaware of Rose's true intentions and the whole scope of her games, as well as the dark reality behind them. Nevertheless, may believe, or at least hope, that Rose's demise is predetermined and that Kim will exact dramatic retribution when she learns what has been happening. For weeks, Rose and Rudy have been planning to kill Kim, and it's obvious they have a scheme up their sleeves. Rose has been attempting to win over her ex-husband Will in order to carry out the plan, which calls for permanently separating him and wife Kim. This week, Kim found herself in a sticky situation with Will and her stepdaughter Dawn due to an act of kindness. With baby Evan's recent hospitalization, Kim was held accountable for something when his health bubble burst and he started to cough. Evan has been receiving therapy in a hospital since his leukemia diagnosis earlier this year. His immune system was compromised by the chemotherapy and when he was finally able to return home, his mother Dawn worried that anyone who wasn't in the bubble might carry infections into the house. Kim defended Billy, Evan's father, when he burst the bubble saying it was her. Now that Dawn is excluding Kim, Will is also not amicable with her. Rose is enjoying herself and acting sly, further isolating Kim and presenting a positive image of herself to Dawn. Fans hope Kim will ultimately get her revenge and expose Rose since they know the truth about Rose's targeting of her, even though Kim isn't responding well to it. One fan posted on X saying, I'm ready for Ms. Tate to go back to her evil self in order for Rose to have a go at Kim. I really want her to end Rose like yesterday, exclaimed another, and I want the old Kim back, concurred a third. The comment that followed said, no, we need evil Kim back. 
The ITV soap opera Rose Jackson, played by Christine Tremarco, launches her revenge scheme against Kim Tate, who is unwitting in the next episodes. It was revealed that Rose, who moved to the town earlier this year, had previously been married to Will Taylor and had left him as well as their little daughter, Dawn Taylor. But Rose is also connected to Ruby Fox Milligan, and the two of them conspire to depose Kim. In later sequences, Rose is in a panic since Ruby won't let them carry out their plan. Will is looking about in confusion as the two are almost caught, but Rose tries to divert his attention by leaning in to give him a kiss, which surprises Will. Rose releases a horse and purposefully causes chaos in retaliation. Additional mystery is revealed as she follows a mysterious message to the village's outskirts and runs into a dealer who gives her a bottle of tranquilizer and tells her to wait for additional instructions. Rose is overjoyed to learn that her grandson even has been released from the hospital, even though she has been plotting a terrible plan to spike Will's drink as part of a trap. However, when her estranged daughter Dawn calls her mom for the first time, Rose begins to doubt whether she should carry out her terrible plan. Later, it appears that Rose follows through on the plan because Dawn and Kim arrive home with two more cocktails poured just as Will is ready to take a sip of the tainted beverage. Rose's evil scheme takes a disastrous turn when she can't remember which drink contains the tranquilizer, which makes her more nervous. Meanwhile, a well-known figure returns to the community posing a threat to Liam Cavanaugh, Johnny McPherson. Despite Liam's resolve to remain unmarried, Manpreet Sharma begs him to rekindle his romance with Chas Dingle. But the next day, he nemesis an unidentified person watching him. It is revealed that Ella, who was banished from the community after confessing to a childhood murder, is the intruder whom Mandy Dingle finds in her house. Ella admits that she went back to get her last few possessions, which leaves Mandy feeling torn as Ella leaves. Later on, Sam Dingle calls 911 to report that Ella was involved in an automobile accident on a rural road. Will Ella, however, survive? Meanwhile, Sam Paul's character Samson Dingle is ready to clear Maddie Barton's name in next Emmerdale episodes after weeks of lying. Samson gets conflicting counsel after lying to the police about Manny stabbing him on purpose. His father, Sam, advises him to leave because he fears severe consequences if his lies are discovered. But Samson's stepmother, Lydia Dingle, Karen Blick, is horrified by this drastic suggestion and urges him to speak with the police about the matter. Samson makes the decision to follow Lydia's counsel and goes to the police station to disclose the real reason why he was stabbed. At last, he admits that Maddie wasn't at fault and that it was an accident. Will Samson be held accountable for his lies? Thanks for watching if you like this video. So please don't forget to subscribe my channel and don't miss any updates.